most well-known secret agent on television, the star of his own show, Get Smart, Mr. Don Adams. <laughs> I'm real happy to have you on our show tonight. Well, thank you, Dean. It's a real pleasure for me to be here. I wonder if I might ask you a few questions about your work as a spy. Go right ahead. On your show, you're known as Agent 86. How did you come to pick that number? Well, you see, Dean, that wasn't always my number. My original number was 005-654-3837. 9250 plus 3-1-004-1-2-3876. But it presented a problem. You couldn't remember it? No, I couldn't get my badge through the door. <laughs> well, when you contact another agent in a foreign country, do you ever use a code or a countersign? Yes, when I contact another agent in a foreign country, I usually use a code or a countersign. For example... <laughs> that was your question. Yes, that was. <laughs> For example, I will go up to him and I will say something like, uh, how deep is the ocean? And he will say, how high is the moon? And that's the code. So I say, how much do I love you? Don. And he says, I'll tell you no lie. Don. Wait a minute, Dean, I think I'm on to something here. How many times a day do I think of you? How many rooms? Now tell me, what is the most dangerous assignment you have ever done? Uh, outside of this routine, you mean. Yes, other than this routine, I, I suppose as a spy you've been captured by the enemy and tortured in or, order to reveal your identity. Yes, many times I've been tortured in order to reveal my identity. You used to be a straight man. <laughs> no, actually one time I was nailed to a rack, branded with a hot iron, bamboo sticks were shoved under my fingernails, and ground glass, and grass, <laughs> was pressed against my back. Did you talk? No, I was too busy screaming. <laughs> well, what are some of the most interesting cases you worked on? Uh, interesting cases, yes. Well there, was, <laughs> well, there was one where I was guarding a famous scientist who was working on a top secret space vehicle to go to the moon. But it didn't work out. Well, what type of space vehicle was it? Gossamer wings. <laughs> Gossamer wings? A trip to the moon on gossamer wings. Uh, what happened? It was just one of those oh, things. I see, I see. I think you got onto something else there. <laughs> How long have you been married? Five years. Any children? Well, no, we don't have any children yet, but I don't think that's important, Dean. I mean, there's plenty of time for that. The important thing is that she loves me, and she thinks I'm the funniest man in the world. Laughs at everything I say, everything I do. That's why we don't have any children. <laughs> Oh, that shows you I ain't done a bit of work. I know. <laughs> I know you work hard. You work hard on your job, sneaking around and spying five days a week. What do you do on your time off? I'm a peeping Tom. <laughs> no, actually, uh, I, I'm a musician. Yeah? Yes. I don't know, mother. What instrument do you play? I play a paper bag. <laughs> a paper bag? A paper bag. Would you like to join me in a little number? Oh, well, sure. Okay. There you are. This is it, huh? That's it. Well, let's bag it. I'm gonna buy a paper bag that I can call my own. A bag that other fellas cannot steal. And then those flirty, flirty guys with their flirty, flirty eyes will have to play with banjos that are real. Second is rain, third is the roses that do in the rain. 